Alex Mashinsky, creator of a multi-billion dollar fraud known as Celsius, has been arrested. I can't express how big of a deal this is, not just for this channel, which has been covering this for over a year, but mostly for the victims. Here's what some of them said about this fraud only a few months ago. So this was an absolute fraud from the beginning. I mean, it turns out that a lot of these businesses that they claim to be propping up Celsius were completely fraudulent. From what I've seen from the examiner, more and more it looks like it was just a a textbook case of a Ponzi scheme. I don't care if it was a Ponzi scheme from the very beginning or at the very end, it still was a Ponzi scheme. It doesn't matter if you meant to start a Ponzi scheme, right? But the second you got into those circumstances, it, it becomes fraud. They're basically losing money from the very start of the company, and they're literally lying in front of everyone's faces saying, yeah, oh, it's totally fine. Yeah, you could totally keep our money in here. Yeah, I would totally invest more if I could. As they're currently at that same time withdrawing funds as they're literally on camera lying to everyone's faces. He made a lot of egregious claims on his Twitter, on his website, on his podcasts he would do, claiming uh, if Celsius ever went bankrupt, all the customers would get all of their funds back. You know, there's tweets of him saying that. And as a CEO of a company, you would take that word at face value. You would believe him when he says your coins are going to come back to you. And now that everything is coming to light and showing that essentially what he was running is a Ponzi, I do believe he should face sip jail time and the people that were also involved with it that were enabling that behavior. Well, it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Alex Mashinsky is facing serious prison time. So let's get into the meat of these allegations. Today, the DOJ, SEC, CFTC, and FTC all released indictments against Alex Mashinsky. Celsius itself was fined $4.7 billion and seven criminal charges were alleged against Alex Mashinsky himself, including securities fraud, wire fraud, and market manipulation. Now, in total, Mashinsky faces up to 115 years as a max sentence, but of course, the sentence will likely be much lower. Even so though, Mashinsky is 57 years old, so there's a chance he will be in prison for the rest of his life because of Celsius. And it's not just him being charged either. Roni Cohen Pavan, the chief revenue officer at Celsius, is also facing criminal charges. And the reasons for that aren't surprising. As we've stated over and over and over, Celsius had been secretly using customer deposits for years to buy their own stupid sell token and make the price go up, which benefited insiders like Alex Mashinsky and Roni Cohen Pavan, who sold their sell tokens and became very rich. $42 million for Alex and $3.6 million for the lawyer. And most of that money was the direct result of lying to their end customer. Over and over, they lied to cover up the fact that they were the main buyers of sell token and main sellers. They lied about their ICO making $50 million. They lied about giving 80% of their revenues back to Celsius customers. They lied about Alex Mashinsky not selling sell token. They lied about Celsius being profitable when they knew they were bleeding cash. And look, I could go on and on, but there are 71 mentions of the word false in this report. So we'd be here all day. The point is this, Alex Mashinsky and his co-conspirators lied in order to get more people to deposit money while they cashed out this sell token. They knew they were insolvent, they knew their business wasn't working, and still they continued to pretend it was. They promoted this Ponzi scheme built on unrealistic returns, and when it all crashed, they made sure their money was out. And for those of you who've been watching this channel over the last year, this won't come as a surprise. As I said, we've been covering a lot of these allegations, but I also wanna be clear that some people have been calling out Celsius even before we did. A fellow investigator, Dirty Bubble Media, has been calling out Celsius for months before anyone else knew they were insolvent. And I wanted to speak to him to ask how he knew so early and what we can learn from it and what this indictment means. My name is James Block. I write Dirty Bubble Media, uh, a blog focused on fraud in the cryptocurrency space. To be quite honest, I thought that Celsius was a fraud very early in my encounters with it, um, within a few days of actually learning about the project. And really what clued me into it was learning about its founder and CEO, Alex Mashinsky's history. He made a lot of big claims about his, his past successes, the companies he had founded, and what I found pretty quickly was that he had lied or at least grossly exaggerated pretty much everything that he told people about what he had done before founding Celsius. And in my experience, when someone lies that much and that often, uh, they don't stop lying. What does this indictment represent to you? 
this indictment's of in vindication for me, really. It, it um, kind of confirms what we knew for a long time. And, you know, I expected this to happen. I don't know if it took longer than I expected, but, it, it, you know, it took a year to the day of them filing for bankruptcy for them to charge him with um, with fraud. Thanks for coming on. I think you helped a lot of people. I, for one, am just grateful that the victims are finally seeing some form of justice in this and that outright crimes are being treated as such. And so it's with great pleasure that I want to wrap up today's show in a bit of a unique way. Today, I'm announcing the addition of Alex Mashinsky to the Wall of Shame. As you guys know, when you appear on this show and then face charges, we will name you and we will shame you. Hopefully, it encourages would-be scammers to think twice. Banks are not your friends. <laughs> But Alex is your friend? Yes. What Celsius does is really helps people navigate in a safe way into this environment. So when you use a Celsius wallet, you know, okay, I'm going to earn yield and I'm going to stay safe in the safe environment because Celsius already did the homework and figured out what's safe. We have billions of dollars in liquidity. So anyone who wants to withdraw, that's a, that's a service. You can withdraw at any time. 